Right, so this is what you're going to be doing a lot, quite a lot of in this uh, chapter 6 material. This is like uh, 6.1 that I'm going through. Um, <clears throat> it's all about simplifying rational expressions. Now, if you can just think to yourself, factor and cancel, right? Factor and cancel. If you can see something you can factor, factor it, then probably you're going to get something that will factor both top and bottom, numerate and denominate, you can cross them off, and whatever's left is you simplifying the rational expression. So, uh, this first one. I have 4x minus 28 on the top. I've got 5x minus 3, 5, 35 on the bottom. Now, you look at that and go, right, it's the cat hair, by the way. Cat hair everywhere. What can I factor out of the numerator? So, they both divide by 4. Right, I can pull a 4 out. What's left if I do? Now, look at your factoring if you need to. You know, 4x minus 28, okay, divide by 4, because that's what you're factoring out, divide by 4, you're going to get x minus 7, okay? Now if we do the same to the bottom, I can see they'll both factor a 5 out, a 5 will come out, and again what's going to be left, if you do it to one side, is x minus 7, okay? Now look, so those are the things, because x minus 7 is one thing, that will cancel, the answer is 4 fifths, that's the answer that's left right there. If I do it on the next one, uh, no, I'll do it on question 6. It's a little trick to question 5. Okay, so x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now, this is where you've got to decide how to do the factoring, like you did in chapter 5. Now, this is one of those, what's two numbers that make 4 when you multiply, that make 4 when you add, is x plus 2 with another x plus 2. Okay? So that's what's on the numerator. What's on the denominator? Two numbers that make 14 when you multiply, that make 9 when you add. 2 and 7. Again, doesn't matter which round you put it. I'll put that one first. That one second. Now, can you see just one of these x plus 2s will cancel? Gone. So that there is your answer. x plus 2 over x plus 7, that's what's left. And that's how you do those, you know, it's just factor and cancel. Now, the reason why I've left question 5 alone, and I'll just kind of squeak it in right over here, is that denominator will not factor. Okay, that's it. The top, I can pull a 4 out. So 4. Now, if I look what's left, it's going to be x minus 6. Again, if you need to, just do like I did with this up here, you know. Divide them both by 4, and you get x minus 6. Now, um, this is a little kind of sneaky thing, but um, look at these two. x minus 6, 6 minus x. It's swapped round. And the, the, basically, the answer to this is that they don't, they, they kind of do cancel, but when you think of things cancelling, they're not really gone. Remember, anything divided by itself is a 1. So if I just circle this up here, I mean, and all that really is a 1, okay, x minus 7 over x minus 7 is 1. But 1 times anything is still the same thing. It's not going to change that 4 fifths. Um, now this, because it's back to front, turns out to be negative 1. All right? So actually, I can cancel these. All right? And that will give me a negative 1. I've still got the negative 4 here. Okay? Sorry, positive 4. Positive 4. Sorry. So the answer is going to be negative 4. And that is the answer. So I was left with a 4 when I factored. But a negative 1 comes into it because of the x minus 6, the 6 minus x. Just spot that. The general rule is this. I'll write it over here. Uh, a minus b over b minus a. This is just with the negatives, okay? You know, when you swap them around, but it's the minus in between. Because b plus a is a plus b. They are the same thing. They will cancel normally, okay? Even though they're written back to front, that's fine. a plus b is b plus a. It's the same thing. 2 plus 3 is 3 plus 2. But it's when you've got the minus in between. Now, that, basically, the general rule is that. Just look at that, okay? A minus B over B minus A is negative 1, okay? And that's what happened over here. Just, just spot those, okay? Make sure you spot them. It's not an X minus 6 and an X minus 6. It's an X minus 6 and a 6 minus X, all right? Just spot those. 